I'm really looking forward to the weekend so I can go home. Because I own a copy of the movie Invincible. Now, there's a scene in the movie Invincible. Where he gets a letter. And trashes his house. And carries that little letter around with him everywhere he goes. A little game of football tryouts. And he looks at it. It's a really nasty, cold letter. I seem to be unable to find a clip of it on the internet. So I have to make my own. As always, my recommendation is that you seek medical attention and get your life back on the rails. Hmm. I guess since it's opposite land. Fuck. All of that. Get my life back on the rails? Like, go back to work? So I can get a paycheck? So I can pay for other people's comfort? No. My time is too fucking goddamn valuable. Which is why, most likely, I believe Monday I'm gonna quit my job. I'm gonna be a leech on society. Yep. I'll give my house away. All vehicles, I don't even care. I'm gonna let's take a step back, guy. I'm gonna take a step back and look at all of that bullshit. And I don't give a fuck about any of it. You know what'll keep the other star systems in check? Fear. The fear of this battle station. This is now the ultimate power in the universe. I'll make more fucking money goes and sitting in front of Parliament Hill with my free energy model that made of constructs and a bunch of pamphlets to hand out to people and a tin can. You need to find one other person that's willing to go all in on this. And we're a global community of people and anyone anywhere can build one of these. If you need help, ask. Now, you're creating free energy, but you're creating life. The wheels are spinning, guy. It's the year 2017. I guess Austin Lee Meredith maybe didn't make a super well-balanced free energy cell. Maybe it's not the best, and it takes a while before it gets up to the speed it needs to get to before it becomes useful. He could be a hick from Kansas. Made it out of bent nails. Because he understands perpetual motion. I don't know. I'm not having it today. I like helping people for a living. And I've just had my 11 year anniversary at my job of troubleshooting optics and how they meet electronics. The electro-optical converter and whatnot in jargon. A bunch of ones and zeros, a lot of our code is in hex. But I'm tired of helping them and their customers. I'm tired of serving two masters. Ergo. I'm quitting my job. I'm selling all my shit. I'm doing whatever I need to do to make my life small. It's not going to be comfortable, but at least I'll have time to do something important. Something that'll change the world of your children and their children. Everyone's children. It's a one or a zero. Either I'm allowed to make free energy, or I'm not. They can't stop us all. What am I gonna do? Hit the button? Am I gonna hit the button? Cause World War Three? No, World War Three is not that. 
If everyone wakes up to the fact that all the religions are lies and all the politicians are lies and it's a control system, do you think that people are going to rise up and do something about it? What happens when you get a million people all angry at a building downtown? My job is not violence. My job is punishment. I get punished for being smart. I am the decoder of your reality. I didn't ask for this fucking job. It stumbled across me when I was trying to better myself because I couldn't understand how this all went south. And lo and behold, there was never anything wrong with me. Only wrong with the world and the people who live in it. Yeah, you want to see a walk of faith? Uh. And Friday I'm going to go see a doctor because we're going to have a chat about why I can't drive. That's either going to go a one or a zero. Depending if Friday goes as a one, I might keep my job for a little while because I'll have a car again. But I will let her know that if she does not do the right thing to get my ass back in a vehicle ASAP, I will be quitting my job on Monday and I will be selling all my things and I'll be living pretty much on the street because what does it even matter anymore? I have to raise awareness and you don't raise awareness in a fucking room or in a little shack near the water around nobody, around a bunch of assholes. Asshole neighbor makes me chain up my dog because I can't control my bird dog chasing geese and ducks. It's what she was designed for, but some asshole doesn't understand that. Now, to me, the mark of the beast, don't take the mark of the beast. Well, too bad guys, it wasn't your decision. That decision was already made. Somebody took the mark of the beast. And that, had tri that has triggered Armageddon. Now you can interpret that as a bad thing, or you can interpret that as a good thing. But all those people who wrote, read about the mark of the beast, and all those people who make YouTube videos about decoding mark of the beast, and what it truly means, don't have a fucking clue. Because what it means is that my wife walked away with my kids, with some guy named Mark, and expects me to pay for their reality. And I'm not allowed to see my children. So I'm going to pay for her reality. And not see my children. And be treated like this? No. I'm going to cause the apocalypse. With the revelation of Armageddon. And what it truly means. Now, every one of you who watch these videos now, we've made the conclusion, the Eureka. It is on your back to do something about it or not, to spread the word or not. I can only do so much. I don't like social networks. I don't like Facebook. I don't like any of that. Maybe some of you do. I've put it into terms and ways and shown you the proof that you could literally hold a cell phone camera with a bunch of markers and prove to your friends and family the truth about Armageddon and cellular earth and cellular energy. Yet you choose not to because you don't think it's important. I would love to see Tom Cruise picking up my garbage in the rain as penance or his atonement for being a deceiver. I would love to see Justin Trudeau mopping a bathroom in a mall somewhere. Because I have no ill will for anyone. <clears throat> but they're going to get their comeuppance, these Freemasons. I don't know how. I don't know by who. It certainly won't be by me. 
because I have no power. The Lord of Light gives me signs and symbols. Do you think the people that these rich people pay to be their slaves are going to be their slaves once they uncover the truth about everything? Not to mention all the child molestation crap, which is what got me into this journey. Because a Freemason abused my wife, I didn't even know what a Freemason was. And I sure as hell wasn't going to talk about this on YouTube, but we've crossed that fucking line, I think. Apparently went to court about it and everything. He got away scot-free. And she felt like shit. And I love her so much that I triggered, I don't know, apocalypse mode. And I got, she treats everyone so good and treats me like garbage. For what, what have I done? I have thoughts, I have a point of view. I have beliefs, so. Yeah, my family doesn't like these videos. Too bad.